Hi everyone, Miss Lizzie here for another experiment for our summer reading program this year. So this time we're going to be doing a gummy bear experiment. So if you all registered, I'm sure you all got your gummy bears. So there's five in a package. You really only need four, but I gave you one little extra one that you can have. Maybe you can snack on it while you do the experiment. So. This is a pretty simple experiment. You only need a few ingredients. Um, if you didn't come and pick up a little baggie of gummy bears, we have plenty left. So if you're interested in doing this experiment, feel free to email one of us and we can get you some gummy bears after the fact. So what you're gonna need is four gummy bears. We have different water solutions. So this is just water and salt. I have water and baking soda just plain white vinegar and then plain tap water. Now for the baking soda and the salt I just added a teaspoon into each of the water and I filled them up to like a little line. You don't need that much water just enough so that the gummy bear can submerge and then this is just plain vinegar. I didn't dilute it with water or anything and that's really all you'll need for the experiment and then we're going to put our gummy bears into each liquid. Now you can let this sit for an hour, you can let it sit for a few hours, or you can even let it sit overnight. That's what I'm going to do, that's where the results will be the best. So we're going to hypothesize which gummy bears will grow in which liquids. Now, we can try to decide, and we can all have different hypotheses and observations, and feel free, you can check on your experiment, you maybe see after a couple of hours which one seems to be getting bigger and which one seems to be getting smaller, maybe some will shrink, maybe some won't grow at all, and that's what's really fun about this. So really quick, really easy, you just once you plop them in, you just let them sit. So let's start. I'm going to put my clear one into plain water. I'm going to put my yellow one into the vinegar. I'm going to put my green one into my baking soda mixture and my orange one into the salt mixture. And like I said now, we just wait and we'll check in tomorrow morning and see if they grew or not or maybe if they shrunk and we can decide our observations. I think the one in salt might get the biggest or maybe the baking soda. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? All right, well, we'll have to check back tomorrow and see what we think. All right, next up will be tomorrow morning and we'll see what happens. Hi everyone, so it's the next day, checking in on my gummy bears, and I have to say that almost all of them dissolved. <laughs> they really um, did, and so if that's the case and you don't want them to and you really want to examine them, if you want to keep them overnight, you can, but I would suggest checking up on them at certain times, maybe every hour or just leave it for a few hours or a couple of hours rather than overnight because I found that mine dissolved. Now the thing about this experiment is it can go different ways depending on how much liquid you put in, how much salt or baking soda or whatnot you put in, it can vary. So we can have different results. There is no right or wrong answer, but my outcome was the one in baking soda is kind of still there. It's really, really Big. That was the one that got really, really big. Where and I remember the one in vinegar actually seemed to shrink a little bit. It got even smaller. So you'll have to let me know what happened with yours. Now the one in salt and the one in water. The one in water almost completely dissolved, and the one in salt is kind of there's remnants. But that one I didn't notice a big change in either. So why do we think that the gummy bear got so big when it was submerged in liquid? Now the gummy bear got so big when it was submerged in liquid because of a scientific process called osmosis. Now what osmosis is and what happens is basically because there isn't a lot of water in the gummy bear, it's made of gelatin, the gelatin acts like a sponge, so it sucks up the water in the liquid that it's in and making it grow in size. 
Now we can also see, you can test if you'd like, if you wanted to take it out of the water and see if it'll shrink back down over time. That could be another element to the experiment. You could try other candy. You could do it different ways. Like I said, if you wanted to um, do more liquid, less ingredients, things like that. You could also, if you didn't eat your fifth gummy bear that you had, that can be your controlled variable. And that one, your controlled variable, is the one that does not change. So that way if you take one of these out of the water, you can compare your first gummy bear to now the ones that have changed in size and see just how much they change. And maybe you could do it if you did it in different times. Maybe one gummy bear is much bigger than another one because that one sat in water longer than the other one. Th so there's a lot of different ways to do this experiment. And like I said, there is no right or wrong reason because it varies on how long you leave it in the water, how much water it's submerged in, some of the other ingredients in the water, how much of those ingredients you put into it. So you can really make it your own and have a lot of fun with it and see all the different results. But did any of your hypotheses come true? Did any of your predictions? I said either the salt or baking soda, which wasn't a nice um, solid hypothesis because I should have just chosen one, but the baking soda one did get really, really big. So. I hope yours worked out great, and if you did this experiment, like always, please email us and let us know. We love to hear that you guys are doing these. We love to see photos. It makes us so, so happy here at the library. So thank you so much for watching, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.